Hi folks, I'm Eric Siegel and it is the end of 2010, it's New Year's Eve 2010 and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about some of the O-Scale club cars that were offered for 2010 and also touch on some of the 2011 offerings. Now you may be saying to yourself, Eric, what is a club car? Well, if you're new to the scene, I'll explain. A club car is a special car that you get when you become a member of a railroading club. Now for this video, I'm just going to be talking about O-Scale club cars made by the major manufacturers, those being Lionel, MTH, Weaver, and Atlas. There are all sorts of other clubs out there that offer all sorts of other cars, but I'm just talking about the four major O-Scale manufacturers. So we had some good cars for 2010, so what I'm going to do is just go through each of the club cars. I'll show you the club car, and I'll also explain to you a little bit about what each club offers and how much each club membership costs. So the first club I'm going to talk about is the MTH Club. Their club is called the MTH Railroaders Club, or MTH RRC. And it costs $50 a year for the O-Gage membership. Now they have two types of O-Gage memberships. They have the Premier line, which gives you the nice O-Scale car. Or they have the Rail King line, which gives you the nice O-27 car. So whether you're into the small O-27 or the larger O-Scale, there's a club for you. And each of those is $50 per year. Now for that $50, you get a membership card that looks like this can't do anything with the card but it does have your name and your member number on it and it looks nice too. You get MCH's newsletter which is called the crossing gate. Looks like that and you get this a few times a year. In the back of the crossing gate they always have special deals and offers for their members. You can get previous years club cars as well as other special offerings at a discounted price. You also get mailings of MTH's latest catalogs for that year and you also get this lapel pin that has MTH on it and the year this one says 2010 and then you get the club car now I joined the Premier Lion Club because I collect O scale cars not O27 so this was the club car for 2010 it's this Union Pacific drop bottom gondola it's really nice got really nice underframe details very nicely done and it is unique to the club because in the top corner I don't know if you can read it but it says MTH RRC 2010 so it is unique to the club now if you were to join the Rail King Club you would get a smaller Rail King 027 car uh, but this is the premier line offering and again 50 bucks for all of that so it's not a bad deal now if you look in the back of the latest MTH catalog that's the 2011 volume 1 catalog these are their 2011 club car offerings. Right here we've got the Rail King tank car. There's a New York Central box car for the Premier line. And then you've got the other gauges as well. You've got two O-gauge tin plate cars and two standard gauge tin plate cars. Now these are not $50. Uh, the O-gauge tin plate cars are $90 and the standard gauge tin plate cars are $120. There's an HO club car down here that's $30. And there's a one gauge car here that's $100. So whatever gauge you collect, if MTH makes it, they make a club car for it as well. Now if money is tight and you can't afford the $50 to join MTH's club, they do offer a basic membership that's $25 and you get everything I mentioned except the car. So now let's talk about Atlas. Atlas's club is called the Golden Spike Club. And just like MTH, they have two divisions in O-Gauge. If you're into O27, you can get the Industrial Rail O27 club car. Or if you're into highly detailed O-Scale, you can get the Masterline club car. Now, each of those club cars comes at a different price point, and I'll discuss the price in a minute. But regardless of which club you join, you get a membership card, like this. It's a nice laminated card. You get a lapel pin that looks like this. You get catalog mailings, and you get newsletter mailings. And then you also get special offers throughout the year for special cars and engines that are only available to club members so it's pretty nice like that now if you want the Masterline club car the cost for membership is sixty five dollars per year this is the Masterline club car for 2010 it's this 3B beer reefer car and it is exquisitely detailed very beautiful lots of detailing all over the place uh, just a beautiful car like most Atlas Masterline cars. And again, that's $65. Now, if you want the 027 car instead, 
That membership costs $55, so it's $10 less. I don't have the IR car here because I don't collect 027 on a regular basis, but it's $55 if you want that car. Now, if you want both, that's the best deal because it's $85. You get the 027 car, you get the Masterline car, and then you get all the other membership stuff as well. So that's the best deal if you're into both 027 and O scale. And just like MTH, if you're short on money and you don't have the money to buy the membership that comes with the club car, they do offer a basic membership that comes with all the membership stuff except for the car, and that membership costs $30. Now for 2011, Atlas is going to be offering two tank cars. On the master line side, they've got this Agash Refining Corp 8,000 gallon tank car that'll be highly detailed and very nice. And then on the 027 side, they've got the Industrial Rail Baker's Chocolate Gaddix 8,000 gallon tank car. So both of those will be really nice. I'm not going to get the 027 car, but I will be getting the Masterline car. Now again, if you want the Masterline car, that's $65, and the 027 car is $55. Now let's talk about Weaver. Weaver's club is called the Collector Station. And unlike Atlas and MTH, Weaver only makes O-scale stuff. So there's no O27 to worry about. There's just one package. It's $65. And for $65, you get a membership card like that. Nothing fancy. It's made of paper. You get a gadget of some sort, which is pretty cool. This is a little miniature screwdriver set they gave us a couple years back. And it's got a nice little Weaver logo on the front of it. One year they gave us letter openers like this. I use this all the time in my office. They gave us an LED flashlight. I believe that was this year's. Uh, I use this all the time on my layout. It's really bright and it's really good for looking in tunnels and under the layout and so forth. They also give you a shirt of some sort. Uh, usually they'll give you a t-shirt or a sweater or a button up or something like that. It's always got the Weaver logo on it. One year they gave us sweaters, this year they gave us a t-shirt. For 2011 I believe it's a long sleeve t-shirt. So it's always some sort of Weaver t-shirt which is nice. You also get regular catalog mailings and you also get special member discounts on the Weaver store on their website. And then of course you get the club car. Now this is the 2010 club car. It's this 40 foot TTX fish belly flat car with wooden spools and these are real wood spools so it's really nicely done very very handsome looking and of course these are made in the USA so it's always good for the good old economy and another neat thing about Weaver is that they always offer a second road number you can get a second road number of the club car for an additional forty dollars I always get both road numbers uh, just because I, I like that sort of stuff. You don't have to, but for $105, you'll get two cars, plus the gadget, plus the shirt, plus the membership benefits, so it's really a good deal. I think Weaver gives you the most bang for your buck as far as the clubs are concerned. For 2011, this is what Weaver is offering. They're offering a neat horseshoe curve reefer car. It's got a picture of the old Altoona Brewery on it. And they are offering two road numbers, just like I said. These are going to be really neat looking cars. I can't wait to get these. Here's the t-shirt, and then they're going to do a Weaver mug with a little Weaver logo on it. It's pretty cool. And like I said, $65 will get you just one car, the shirt, the mug, the membership card, and all the other stuff. And then for an extra $40, you can get the second road number. Finally, we come to Lionel. Lionel's club is called the Lionel Railroaders Club. And unlike the other clubs, when you join Lionel's Club, you don't get a club car just for joining. But on the other hand, it's really cheap. It's only $20. Now, for $20, you're going to get a membership card that looks like this. You'll get a club button that you can put on your shirt or your hat or your overalls or something like that. You'll get the catalogs mailed to you every year. And you'll get four newsletters per year. Their newsletter is called the Inside Track. Now, even though you don't get a club car for joining, in the Inside Track newsletter, they will have occasional offerings for special LCCA cars that are available only to members. So if you want, you can order those cars when they're offered. And that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the 2010 club cars. 
And hopefully if you were not familiar with club cars before you watched this video, you are now. And maybe for 2011, you'll decide to join some of these clubs. Now you can join these clubs any time of year. You don't have to do it in January or anything like that. You can do it at your own leisure. If you want to join them, you can join those clubs at each manufacturer's respective website. So for MTH, it's going to be www.mthtrains.com. For Atlas, it's going to be www.atlaso.com. For Weaver, it's going to be www.weavermodels.com. And for Lionel, it's going to be www.lionel.com. Anyway, I'm Eric Siegel. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2011.